I do mention the emotional damage guy in my set. Just, oh, just, just, <laughs> just, just, just cheer, just cheer. I could just, uh, I could just do it. Emotional damage. Yes, like, from the audience. Yeah, if you want, if you want. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't consider that a heckle. Steven, he's here, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Hello nieces and nephews, thank you so much for tuning in to Haya Podcast special episode today. I'm in New York and joining me is the very funny Stephen He. Hello, we Honored have to be here. so many people have requested you to be I on this. Bet. Yeah, same this way as well. Yeah. A lot of people are So my... many people have confused me for you or vice versa, I'm for sure. Real? Yeah. <laughs> I've, like on in in real in life. In real life no and way. on Instagram. They send me the emotional That's damage sick. clips yeah. and they're like, oh, you're so funny, man. You're so funny, dude. <laughs> and I don't mind it because uh, I love stealing other people's work and claiming it as my own. Amazing. And Great. it, it yeah. works. It still grows my profile. I'm thinking of naming one of my videos, Emotional Damage. You know, I'm, I'm thinking know, of my next tour, Emotional Damage I'll take, Tour. take my idea. You yeah. can have it. You can have all of it. <laughs> you know what's ridiculous? This is 100% true mm -hmm. as of like April 2022. There's legit a fan account called Emotional Damage uh -huh. with more followers than me. Really? <laughs> Legit. <laughs> like, I took that personally. I was like, wait. They, I, and they don't post that. They just post the clip. They just uh -huh. post Emotional They don't add anything. They don't do like a, a meme beforehand. It's just the clip and they have more followers than me. Wow. So, you have become a meme, Steven. I have. Yeah. It's extraordinary. I can't take credit for that at all. It's like my, my fans just took it and went wild you know, the amount of yeah. posts done by that the internet works in weird ways you know sometimes you you, you don't yeah. know what clip's gonna go viral I've had a few things go viral maybe, uh -huh. maybe not to meme level yeah. but I've had a few like like Smokey Barbecue <laughs> like, Pork is halal clip that went viral yeah. and I didn't even <laughs> expect it in the video yeah. that was a, just a throwaway line I, I don't know what was it like it a, yeah. when you recorded that emotional damage line in the beginning Mm -hmm. What was that like? Oh, bro, I, I had no clue that was going to go viral. So I was just writing a sketch and uh, I, I write jokes in this, as I always do. You know, you write like yeah. um, 10, 20 jokes for one sketch and you, you do this, what, 100 videos, 200 videos. Um, and it's a little bit of a random thing because it's none of my doing at all. I don't believe emotional damage is, is my doing. It's the doing of like countless creative people that are way funnier than I am and way more creative than I am. Can I just picking it and deciding to roll with it. Yeah, yeah. listen, Stephen, this is a podcast. This is not a PR interview. <laughs> we don't have to be that uh, grateful and sincere. You know, it makes for a terrible podcast. If you're, oh, I just want to thank my fans and uh, take care yeah. of yourself. Don't burn out, okay? That's hilarious. <laughs> you're not on NPR. Yeah. So <laughs> I love, that's one thing I love about your real. podcast. Though. Yeah, yeah, your podcast is so real and like you don't care about anything you I say. I piss a lot of people off, you know, oh. but that's where the comedy comes from, yeah. right? I think emotional damage, you know where it comes from? Every single Asian parent. It's facts. You know? It's always. You yeah. play, okay, for a little bit of context before uh, we jump into it too much. Yeah. If you don't know who Steven is, you have been living under a rock. <laughs> okay, Steven, he runs a very successful YouTube channel where he makes sketches yes. about uh, Asian-y things, you know, culturally yeah. Asian things, uh, among many other sketches, of course. Yeah, but, but let's be mainly, honest here. The, the biggest the, ones are definitely yeah. um, like uh, taking the piss out of my own upbringing, like yes. my parents, the, the Asian parents is mm -hmm. such a big topic. And uh, yeah, so many sketches about that. Yeah, so go search Stephen He, S-T-E-V-E-N-H-E -E -E yeah. on YouTube and go find him and follow him there. Very, very funny sketches. Uh, and then it's crazy to see the creator of uh, Stephen He is, is his own uh -huh. character and Stephen He's dad. Stephen's dad, that's the yeah. character that's I, blown up. And yeah. then Uncle Roger is my character is the, that, yeah, that's exactly. blown and up. And that's why like all so. the time my fans keep asking like Asian dad and Uncle Roger has to be in a collab Yes, one day. Asian dad and Uncle Roger will be in a collab. We're actually filming something. It'll be pretty insane. There's some quite big people. Um, like eight of the biggest Asian creators. Um, oh wow! In He's the YouTube teasing community. it already. Okay. Hell yes! Yeah, hit hit subscribe. Whose That's channel it. is it going to go on? Your your um, channel, right? There will be. I I want everyone uh. to have some content. There will be three uh. main sketches. Uh, me, uh, Two Set Violin, and Nathan Duan are the three main sketches. Nice. Um, but like just this morning, um, Jeannie Weenie, Sandra, she's already grabbed like three TikTok videos. You know. Wow. So uh, I I encourage everyone to get some content out of the day. Yeah. yeah. Jeannie is such a powerhouse. She's she just makes so much content. She yeah. makes uh, listeners who don't know her name's Sandra Kwan. She used to be an air stewardess, yep, air, yep. airplane attendant. I don't know what the PC term is now. <laughs> you know, you, apparently you is can't. stewardess no longer. Like a... I don't know. Is it okay? 
I know they're not supposed to be hot anymore. You can't have you can't that can't be a requirement. What? No. Unless you're in Asia. The air man, the air stewardesses in Asia and the <laughs> air stewards too. They have like yeah. looks like beauty oh, requirements. Oh, the, the men look like really good. Yeah. All of them for some reason. All of them. And then you come over here. Yeah. Holy shit, boy. Are they just admitting everyone now, you know? But <laughs> I did not know you were gonna be this raw. <laughs> okay, but no. listen, Sandra yeah. Kwan. Yeah, Sandra uh, Kwan's amazing. Very beautiful uh, creator, but that's not why she's famous. Okay, <laughs> uh, but she <laughs> she is a uh, uh, t- big TikTok and big YouTube Huge. creator. The way she creates content is insane. Like I, she just thinks of something and uh-huh. and then designs all of the cinematography, designs reverse shots, scripts in yeah. her head. Like we're talking like in seconds. She just did it with me an hour ago. And she just, yeah, just hold that and, and be like, she'll rule on it. Uh-huh. And then she'll, here, hold the camera. I'm going to do a reaction. And she'll just make a video like that. 10 minutes. Done. I know, I know. It's incredible creativity. No sharing skill. Google Docs around. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Sharing scripts, which is what, what I do. Really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to write jokes for it. Uh-huh. You know, oh boy. But so, some people just have the talent and the looks and then, People like me, I have. We have to like graft a little bit, you know. Uh, yeah, write, it's, write it's some true. I, I do not have that. I yeah. just put so much time into it. You know, that's the part of of like what I do that I don't enjoy the most because it's so inconsistent. For what? I, Why don't you enjoy the most? Uh, writing, writing my sketches. Okay, okay. Um, because I play every character, so it has to be written, and it's genuinely like a three page four script. Yeah. Um, and it's because everything else, like you do, uh, like the film. If you film for two hours, you got two hours of footage. Yeah. But like, I'll I'll sit there for two days trying to write a script, and it's crap. It's absolute uh-huh. crap, and I scratch it. Or sometimes, like the the emotional damage video, the difficulty mm-hmm. mode series, I wrote that in fifteen minutes, and it was like, oh, this is gonna be an okay thing, and it, it blows up to to what it is. Yeah, there's a sweet spot. You can't spend too long on a video, but you can't spend yeah. too little time either. Yeah, it's, you know what I mean. It's weird. And then I'm I'm envious of those channels that are like three seconds. They do like um, a, a, a meme or like like you know the the the, the short meme is like yeet. Just that, just that, like fifty million views right off the bat. Yeah, but that's uh, not a sustainable career move, though. True, true. It's right. Not. So it's we'll get into that. We'll talk about what yeah. what you want to do. But yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to go back to emotional damage. All right. Okay. That is just something every Asian. Okay. In the original video, right? Uh-huh. It's you pick a difficulty level. You pick Asian. Yes. And yeah. then the guy just falls, and then the title it's, comes. It's like, so, emotional damage. Yeah. It's so. So the the original one is. Um. I wanted to take the piss out of. First of all, there's a lot of lot of things in it, like the the ragdoll physics of game characters. Yeah. And then um, I wanted to show like <laughs> the emotional damage of growing up Asian. Yes. So 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 I, I made a storyline of this company that got so fed up by five year olds in Asia just uh-huh. annihilating their game <laughs> that they made a mode just for them called like. Easy Easy, medium, hard, Asian. Yeah. Um, and the, the joke is, in Asian mode, it's so difficult that everything kills you. Like, stepping <laughs> on a branch kills you. Breathing yep. kills you. I remember that. Uh, and yep. one of the jokes, I, I was trying to think of, like, what else could kill kill a, a character for no mm-hmm. reason. Uh, and uh, getting roasted by the boss was what I what I thought about. So so the boss comes in, says, uh, when you get so fat, and then he dies. Because <laughs> he, got, he got killed by emotional damage. Yep. Yes, yes. Fat shaming. That's another thing our parents do. My mom calls uh-huh. me like every week and tells me, Steven, you're so fat, stop eating. And, what are you yeah. doing? <laughs> and she's right. She's right, yes. Steven. You ever thought, think about that? Yeah, no, for like, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I grew up from the kidding, kidding. Uh, <laughs> You're so kind. Yeah. But uh, nowadays, everybody just goes to therapy now and complains about their therapy. parents, <laughs> uh, like Asian parents fat shaming them. Yeah, and, and sometimes it's just it's just a lot, you know. I I worry about this. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I'm, me, I'm an immigrant. You're an immigrant, right? Yeah, Do you I have am. kids? I don't have kids. I have no. kids. Okay. Imagine yeah. if you like you, you move to a new country, you work your ass off, yeah. working really hard to make money and secure a better future, and then your kid grows up and goes to therapy and bitches about you. <laughs> That is the number one fear I have living in the West. <laughs> yeah, that hurts. You know? I can feel. I can that's, feel that. Yeah. I, I I don't know what I'll do. Yeah. What are, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Well, um, that's a good question. What did I think? You you beat them. That's what you do. <laughs> you beat them. I think I think like Asian dad character <laughs> isn't even based off of my dad. It's based off of me of what based I would you. do to my children. Good. Uh, so I would roast the crap out of them every day. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I can't get away with beating them anymore unless yeah. unless we're in China. Um, That's true. Okay, tell us, tell tell me and yeah. the listeners about your yeah. history. Then you're from you b- were born in Shenzhen in China. Yes, I was born in okay. Shenzhen um, to two Chinese parents. So genetically, I'm completely Chinese. Okay, uh, and uh, grew up until I was eight. Then my mother immigrated us to Ireland. And Ireland. I became Irish. Where in Ireland? 
Limerick. 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 Yeah. Oh, nice. I've never been. You never, I've yeah, been to yeah. Ireland a few times. It's a great place. I, I okay. really enjoy it. Um, yeah. it's, a, it's a lot calmer than like the big cities I was used to. Like Shenzhen, 12 million people, huge city. Yeah, Limerick is five people and a cow. <laughs> right? And two cows. They're my only best friends. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no uh, Irish accent though. Uh, I, it took me a while to get rid of it. But Limerick? Yeah, it, it, Limerick? <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. No, I, I had, I remember, and it's like if I start talking about Ireland, is, you'll, you'll hear it come out a little yeah. bit. Because I learned to speak English in Ireland. So, yeah, uh, top of the morning to you. Yeah, <laughs> so I've never, I've never fucking heard an Irish nobody, person say nobody, that. Nobody says that. Fact. Nobody says that. Yeah, so I, I grew up from eight to like 11 in Ireland, then went back to China for three years, then went back to Ireland for three years. Okay. So I grew up very much back and forth, back and forth. Uh, then went to London at 17 to get a bachelor's degree in acting oh which is uh, it's the most useless thing i have <laughs> it's, it's it's completely useless and i don't yeah. know why they also don't tell people that it's useless it just it just encourage you to sign up and, right and go. it's kind of like the normal thing to do yeah. i think they need to tell asian people too especially asians it's it's it's, it's useless just do your own thing and, yeah, and yeah. figure just do it, it yourself out. Just, yeah do it yourself just get rejected by a thousand auditions it'll be farther along anyway it's already hard enough to make it as an actor if you were like the default straight white uh, male um, race or, or like white female like the beautiful where white. there's a lot of roles for right? yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. That, that's, that's what I mean yeah. yeah yeah there's a lot of roles for beautiful let's say beautiful white women and uh-huh. it's already so it's already hard for them yeah there's a lot, right? there's yeah. a lot of competition and stuff so mi- you, you, you minimize the, the number of roles <laughs> exactly. for Asians by yeah. like tenfold a lot a big shot like yeah five percent of the roles in Hollywood are Asian and that's how it should be okay <laughs> <laughs> If you want roles, go back to China. Is a I mean that I is a true statement though, and isn't I do, it? and I do, right? I do, yeah. I do do films in China, and so that's fair. The UK yeah. is you know a majority. I'm gonna get flamed on for this now, yeah. but the UK <laughs> is majority white. Ireland is majority white. So if you're an yeah, Asian yeah. actor in the UK, it's like respect, but it's gonna be really hard. Yeah, it is. It is definitely going to be hard. So yeah, I think yeah. uh, wh- what I'm trying to say is, I'm <laughs> Matt, you're proud of you. constantly trying to not get fired, <laughs> <laughs> trying to not get cancelled on this. <laughs> My point I'm trying to make is, yeah. it's great that you're doing your own thing because I think um, that's the future anyway. You're right. Yeah, absolutely, right? absolutely. Yeah. That's something I'm really passionate about. Actually, that you mentioned that. Yes. Like uh, the the whole art of filmmaking is becoming decentralized. Mm-hmm. Whereas like mm-hmm. probably 50 mm-hmm. years ago, you had to be one of the five powerful people in Hollywood, otherwise you couldn't make films. Mm-hmm. Um, but now the power is literally in anybody's hand. Like a five-year-old from, from Idaho could reach 100 million people. Yeah, uh, The infrastructure is there and I, I'm very excited about that. You have social media, you have yeah. uh, cameras are so cheap. Phones, exactly. you can film stuff with phones now. You can make great content. Yeah. Great content with phones. So it's just about level of talent and hard work and yeah, yeah. yeah why, why do people still go to acting school? Oh, why do you think that is? There, okay, so there, there's two types. There's, mm-hmm. uh, and I went to both. I had a, a bachelor's degree from London. Okay, <laughs> I won't say the university. <laughs> say it. Say it. <laughs> oh, it's Regents University. Regents uh, University. Okay, um, they're, they're Never not heard of it. They, they don't have you know Regents Park. You definitely yeah, know, yeah. It's yeah. like in the middle of Regents Park. Okay, so um, in the, in the school's in the middle of a park. Yeah, <laughs> next to the swans and the geese. Yeah, so going to school, you're going into like a <laughs> like you're, you're relaxed going to the every morning. Yeah. Uh, and then there's the other kind. So the universities they give you the Degrees, and that's all about academic. It's all about reading books and writing essays. Which, which, what an actor needs that? I know. I don't, don't know. It doesn't help at all, in my opinion. Um, essays about acting, about like theater in 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 India back fifty years ago, about like Chinese, you know, lion dance. Yeah, it's, who cares? Who yeah, cares, I I don't know? think um, if you want to be an actor that that helps at all. Yeah. And then there's, then there's the other kind. There's um, the specialized conservatories with reputation, and I and I stress this. Very, reputation is very important because mm-hmm. uh, nowadays anyone can just say I'm an acting teacher and charge students to come teach them, despite that person not having oh. any credits, not having any ability, not you know. Um, and so uh, I went to the neighborhood playhouse, and this is a different story. Okay. Uh, the neighborhood playhouse is a place I'm proud to be from like we have Oscar winners like most recently Alison Janney more classical actors like um, Steve McQueen back in the day Michael Douglas Diane Keaton uh, Gregory Peck all Oscar winners Robert Duvall plenty of them Mm -hmm. Um, uh, that kind of school actually does something it actually makes you a more capable actor okay Um, and they're tough like they're they're Juilliard Actors Studio uh, Playhouse Stella Adler um, well, I don't know, the, but the Juilliard and the Playhouse, certainly, they don't just let anyone come in and graduate. Like in my year, we, we cut out over a half of the students. Wow. Because when you're not good enough, you're not allowed to become a, an alumni of the school. Where is this school? 
The I, school is in New York City. New York Midtown. City. Yeah. So yeah, when when you're at a school that is legit, you know, they they have Oscar winners, they have that reputation, um, then they'll actually help you become a better actor. Whereas, mm. like, if you could do a bachelor's degree about acting history, it doesn't it doesn't help at all. <laughs> <laughs> so you say you yeah. graduated from Neighborhood Playhouse. I did. Yes. Oh I did. wow, yeah. that's impressive, man. <laughs> um, all right. Well, thank all right. you. <laughs> Thanks and now you do bit. TikToks for a yeah, living. Okay. Hell yeah. Now I make the big bucks. Um, I'm on this I'm on the, this screen. Uh, not on the big screen, but on yeah. the five inch screen. Now you're doing my podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> my uh... biggest honor I've had yet. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you very yeah, much for that. Of course, man. No, it's, it's a pleasure to yeah. have you. But at, at the end of the day, yeah, mm-hmm. the, with, the, with the acting school thing, uh, if you were to ask me, my honest opinion was, yeah, to be, being a better actor helps when it comes to like, like technical stuff of executing a job like for example crayon Q and doing that 20 takes in a row uh, you might need a capable actor so so that role gets done properly yeah uh, if you have a less capable actor they'll fuck up they'll not be able to execute what the director wants um and sometimes that's cry i don't know why crying is the big example but uh it's it, the, the tears don't matter it's about delivering um a truthful performance uh, uh, so the capability that yeah sure that's important but from my uh experience i think um if you just anybody with experience or not, if you just go into the industry and get rejected a thousand times, I think that's worth more than the training that I personally went through. And when you say get yeah. rejected, you mean not getting parts? Yes, yeah, yeah. So so how, how uh, it works in North America, in China is a whole other story, but in okay. North America, there's these kind of casting breakdowns like a platform mm-hmm. that everyone will list this movie that movie um, okay. and that you as an actor you can submit to them you can give them your headshot and stuff and say uh, hey I, I'm interested in playing this role uh, they'll they'll receive like on a I don't want to use a real example but like on a TV show like a Netflix show a lead character they'll receive a good maybe 50,000 80,000 submissions Oof. and out of those submissions they'll pick people they want to see audition so they'll they'll send out I don't know maybe, maybe 200 um, te- messages and say hey here's mm-hmm. the size here's like two two pages would you give us the self tape and give that back to us um, and then out of those 200 they'll pick like maybe 15, 20 and, and do a callback round uh, of another round of auditions and then they'll narrow that down to like five and do a chemistry read and that's how an actor gets cast. So, so down to five, like from 200 down to five and you're competing against like oh the yeah, best you're... of the best unemployed actors out there. And employed. You're always up against the A-list. Like don't forget really? you're always oh, up against shit, them. Man. So when you see a Netflix lead role being able to be submitted for, that's because... Timothy Chalamet passed on it. That's because Tom Holland passed on it. And then they passed on it. A-list passed on it. And then B-list, they passed on it. They passed on it. So you're always, always competing against them. It's only when they don't want the role, they'll give you the scraps. Um, that, that's that's from my point of view. And when I say rejected, like, uh-huh. uh, and I wear this proudly. I, I used to, like, get a, get knocked down but now I wear it very proudly Um, in terms of submitting and auditioning and the whole process I've been rejected over 3,100 times wow from TV and and uh, film why why do you keep track how do you keep track (laughs) oh see every year you ask your talent for your talent you ask your agent for your talent report Ah, and they'll send okay. you everything you were submitted for, everything you auditioned for, every everything you landed, which is like nothing for me. <laughs> so you made so, three thousand yeah. one hundred self tapes. Uh, no, I've submitted to at least three thousand one hundred uh, uh, productions, and wow. of those, uh, I don't remember the number of self tapes. There's got to be a couple hundred at least. Right? Yeah, it's got to be yeah. a couple hundred. Uh, and in landing wise, I might have landed like seven in my entire Whew. career. About seven. seven out of three thousand one hundred. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go, go to acting school now, listeners. Yeah, go to acting. Go school. do that. It's a fantastic career. Yeah. You, you'll, you'll make the big bucks. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was this hard. Now, when you put it into numbers, uh-huh. I have done like the odd self tape or two, uh-huh. but obviously yeah. it's not a big uh, chunk of my career. I, I do see. them because yeah. it's like, oh, it's fun to get better at acting because sometimes yeah. I, I, I do need to act sometimes even okay. for my. YouTube stuff, or if I uh, land my own project, like a, yeah. that I co-wrote or something, or co-produced. Yeah, like yeah, the Comedy Central um, East Mode. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's one of the hype. sketch that's shows. So oh, thank you very it. much. It's just one episode on UK Comedy Central UK only, but it's okay. cool to be cool. able to do a, a sketch show that's uh, led led by me, you know. And, yeah, and absolutely. See the yeah. creation come come to life. Totally, um, I love that. But yeah, sometimes I do have to act, so I use those self tape opportunities to practice acting because when oh, will you okay. ever act and look at yourself on camera, right? Yeah, yeah. You, uh, well, you, when you make videos, you edit yourself for like hours. And, and you yeah, know. but to me, Uncle Roger's not really acting. Uncle Roger is who <laughs> I would have become if I didn't leave Malaysia. <laughs> you know, the brilliant. Asian, like Dr. Brilliant. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde kind yeah. of thing. How, how old were you when you left um, Asia? 20. 
twenty twenty one. Twenty right. twenty twenty. So how long have yeah. you been in uh, London? You you went right to London. No, I right? went to Chicago first. <laughs> That's fascinating. That's for my university. Okay. You know? Oh my and god. And then I went to London two thousand fifteen. Bro, it's it's yeah. crazy how our stories are like so you know uh, moving everywhere internationally. Yeah, because Asia's yeah. a shithole. We gotta we gotta <laughs> leave. <laughs> Man just pissed off the entirety of our continent. <laughs> Listen, oh, I, I do not condone that. Uh, Asia's yeah. cool. Asia's cool. Yeah. yeah, certain parts, certain parts. But it depends yeah. on the on what you're trying to pursue. I think Asia is uh-huh. really good for uh, white collar jobs right now. You know, Singapore is crushing yeah. it. Shanghai, like, everything there. Like, yeah, there's a, a huge things happening. The like, corporate world, like consulting, uh-huh. banking, <clears throat> a startup. Here's one. Crush Here's one. There. Um, yeah. uh, in our scene, which mm-hmm. like obviously ev- everyone listening to this will be familiar with, TikTok, ByteDance. Yeah, they've took over they t- absolutely mm-hmm. took it number one on the app store and the amount of uh, monthly users on that it's ridiculous i've seen the chinese side of tech which i don't know if you know this yeah, chinese Douyin, Douyin. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah they're yeah, yeah. completely separate yep i know but yeah, yeah it's insane you can't you can't even find Stephen he on Douyin. um but they're but yeah i'm just getting into it and that platform it's almost like seeing what tiktok is gonna become it's almost like five years ahead of tiktok oh you think so I've been on yeah. Douyin. I think there are a lot of cultural differences. I I don't yeah. think they. I don't think TikTok's gonna merge into becoming Douyin. You know, I think uh, there are there are still cultural differences. Oh yeah, but n- like not the content itself. I just mm. mean the format. Like when I pop on Douyin, here's the thing I notice: like every third swipe is trying to sell you a product. Yeah, it's a live stream <laughs> of someone trying yeah, to sell yeah, a yeah, T-shirt. Yeah. Oh, we love doing that shit in Asia. And man. it's so integrated. You can just click yeah. a button and you'll just pay for it right there. Do you think that's uh, gonna take off in in the in, in the West? I do. I do. You I think do. so? Yeah, in multiple platforms too, mm. like YouTube as well. I think people yeah. are starting to do it now. Yeah, like Instagram already has integrated shops, right? Yeah. Yeah, like you can but buy clothes and stuff. In Asia, we have a tradition of um, celebrities endorsing everything. <laughs> you could go, you, 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 seriously, when I land in Malaysia, on the drive home, you can yeah. see billboards of celebrities endorsing yep. like this Asian, ancient Asian root <laughs> herbal medicine, you, you know this I skincare love? thing. <laughs> so we have that culture of people are always endorsing shit. Mm-hmm. Whereas in, in, in the US, there is that culture too, but it's yeah. less. It's, it's much it's less. less right. prevalent. Like, like what does Brad Pitt endorse? You know, you don't yeah, really know. Like, but in Asia, if you are a celebrity, you will have like watches, cars, totally. and all those brands. And every brand kind of needs one. Like there's no brand without a big name, big yeah, celebrity. Even them. comedians back there, they endorse shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, comedians do. here, like brands usually don't work with a lot of comedians because uh, sometimes we say crazy shit. <laughs> And uh, brands don't like that, you know, unless <laughs> unless you're manscaped, you know, <laughs> which yeah. is not a sponsor, but they've sponsored this podcast before. Yeah. In China, I love, the, I find it so funny. So um, my family is from rural China, like way out into the farms, into the mountains. Uh-huh. And, uh, and what you see in rural China is just shops and brands faking sponsorships all the time they'll just slap like obama's yeah. face on it yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> they'll be like a drink a drink yes. s- stall on the side of the street and they'll just yeah. have like biden's face <laughs> on it selling the drink <laughs> Dude, have you seen those i know we do everywhere. that in malaysia too sometimes yeah, everywhere and people take the uncle roger uh the, no the persona they cut it out put it on the fried rice stall you know? oh yeah. my god and they're like they're like oh uncle roger approved i'm like, i've never even been there but that's just something we do. That, I find that also, so funny. Who wants to buy Biden's favorite yeah, yeah, drink? Yeah. <laughs> Biden's like, like I don't know. I don't know his politics. Is he good or not? But like, he's not cool. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Why don't you get Addison Ray on it? Um, Obama you know? was the big one. Like I've seen Obama fried chicken. Like a whole, <laughs> and it's a legit chain. There are multiple Obama fried chickens in China that I have seen with my own eyes. It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> yes, we do do that. <laughs> We oh, just rip off show. people's intellectual property, you know? Yeah, that, everyone. Like yeah. Asia, yeah. I, I've never seen emotional damage being ripped off, but I bet it is. Like, it has to be. Yeah. How, how do they translate it to Mandarin? Um, oh, I saw this video. Someone did this edit. They, yeah. they translated emotional damage to like 30 languages. <laughs> and they just photoshopped me in Italy, in like <laughs> Saudi Arabia. <laughs> brilliant nice oh. nice so yeah. sh- s- send that video to me i want to see that all right okay <laughs> sick so where do you live now uh, i live in brooklyn i live in brooklyn, brooklyn now oh, nice. uh, we okay. might we might move because uh we, we, I who's we you space. you have a sp- me and my family? girlfriend your girlfriend yeah, oh, I live nice. with my girlfriend okay uh we we've been together for a couple of years uh nice so she's she's with you as you blew up on all this social media oh yeah she was with me okay. before before i even started good, good. that's good that's how you know that's she's not a gold digger yeah right right hold on to her 
<laughs> because the women I meet now, holy shit, boy. I see pain in your eyes. <laughs> My God, what you deal yeah, with on yeah. A daily. A lot of like, you have to always be suspicious. Yeah. You know, what you trying like, to get at? You know, exactly. Yeah. Clout or gold? Clout. What are you trying that's to? the other one. Clout. My God. <sighs> Clout is such a such a big. Yeah. yeah. That's my pain. You know, all these models <laughs> too, too throw famous. themselves at me. I'm like, exactly. oh, come on. Too much money. You can I never... know what you're trying to go for, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. No, but uh, okay, girlfriend. Yeah, so, oh, yeah so we, we might move um, because I need more space to make videos. At the moment, we live in ti- and New York apartments are all tiny. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we have, uh, I can't like have the camera up all the time. I have to pack it up because otherwise I can't sit down for dinner. Oh, yeah, you it's, don't want to do that. I, that yeah. my, my previous place was like that. My, uh, I, I moved tiny. as well to a bigger, bigger house, but it's yeah. still London, so it's still. Well, we're small. in London. We're in London. North London. I don't North want to London. say the exact neighborhood. On okay. Because, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I lived in uh, all these gold diggers are gonna come at me. <laughs> <laughs> how how often do you get recognized in London? Uh, quite often, a couple, few times a day, maybe. I mean, it depends where yeah, I'm at. If I'm in yeah. Chinatown, then a lot. But if I'm dude, just you know what? I found the exact opposite. Uh-huh. I found the exact opposite. Really? In Asian communities, I actually don't get recognized. But in the the most un-Asian community, like I was in, I was in Arkansas. Mm-hmm. Um, I was shooting a, a romantic lead for for a film. I, I won't say for television, and um, th- I was I was recognized more in Arkansas by like white people more oh. more than I was in Chinatown. See, that's good. It's you're, you're, you're bridging the gap. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm I'm getting everyone together. Yeah, yeah. I I I know there are a lot of uh, big Asian creators uh, mm. or or people who are only big in the Asian community, and yeah, like, yeah, that that's nice. But like, you need to be able to reach other people, right? Otherwise, right. it's just oh, this yeah. big so echo everyone chamber. Everyone can relate, right? Right. Yeah. To, to be able to expand uh, to a bigger audience as well. Yeah, that's my goal too. I mean, when I perform, um, it's a huge. Ma- I perform live, right? So I got to see who my audience is. <laughs> you can just look at me. Yeah, and it's yeah. Uh, it's a huge mixture of people. It depends on Beautiful. the city. In London, yeah, yeah sure, there'll, there'll be more Asian people in London uh-huh. because there's just more Asians there, so it'll be yeah. half Asian. But okay, I go to Scotland and uh, I go to like Cardiff in Wales, yeah, or yeah. I was in Philly last week, and it's like. Uh, m- m- very few Asian people. Yeah, t- no, 20, if you're in Limerick, maybe? my yeah. family is probably the only family yeah. that's Asian. <laughs> 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 maybe like one more person. That's about it. Yeah, yeah. but like, it's really cool to see that you're bridging bridging that gap. You know, yeah. because um, I think people love accents. People love mm. fu- it's a funny character. Yeah, totally. People love yeah. accents, and there's this huge stigma in the U.S. Oh, Asian, don't don't do your stereotypical accent. Dude, you know? I don't know. But Coming from yeah. other, it's only from other Asian, other Asian Asian Americans who say that shit. By the way. Right. You think so? I've I've never had an Asian American say that. Like really? I, I've heard white people say that. Really? Oh god. That's, <laughs> I've heard that's white people say too. don't do that accent. It's it's offensive. People love accents, man. Yeah, it's, accents are fun. They're great, and uh, an accent is not a stereotype. People just conflate the two. Yeah, right? like it's about intent, in my opinion. Like mm-hmm. so, yeah, sure. I have had like you know people telling me to to go back to China and stuff like that, racist uh-huh. stuff, um, yeah. and they they take the piss, uh, but it's. It's not like they did that because we make our content, right? It, people don't hate yeah, because the racist we people make... are going to be racist yeah, anyway. Yeah, exactly. Whether or not you made the content, hateful people are hateful <laughs> because of them, not because of us. Yeah, and so nobody's m- watching an Uncle Roger or Stephen He video going, <laughs> "Oh, yeah, that reminds me." I gotta say that to somebody. I need to tell it's, some China man to fuck yeah, off. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. emotional damage. Go yeah. back to China. Yeah, you know who? <laughs> Can abs- we make a clip yeah. edit? Uh, go. So yeah. A racist hate crime incident, saying you to go back to China and then. Emotional <laughs> damage. <Yeah. laughs> you know where this is? This actually baffled me. An audience that really loves my character is mm. mainland China. Chinese people. Yeah, they relate to it. They yeah, relate to it. They really dig the accent. Yeah, and like, they don't take so like some people in America might might go like, oh, that's that's a bit sensitive. I don't know about mm. that. Um, but Chinese people love it. They think it's hilarious. It's their dad. Is you're it's, playing yeah, your yeah, dad? Yeah. It's totally right? yeah. yeah. Um, like it, my my own mom and dad, and how how that happens. Yeah. So it, I don't think the accent thing is bad in any way. It's it's hateful people are gonna hate, and it's not because we did anything. It's because they're hateful. The thing that makes me sad is yeah. b- uh, people think the fact that people think doing an accent is bad. You know, that is the thing that makes me sad. That there's yeah. whole cultural richness. Yeah. I get it. A lot of Asian Americans grew uh-huh. up here and then they get bullied because of the right. accent, their, their yeah. parents' accents or yeah. the, the food their parents make for them, to, uh-huh. the, the lunchbox moment and everything. Right, right. right. I did a video I think, on that. Yeah. I think it's going to be... Why hasn't it... It's going to be reversed soon because we all know white people food sucks now. <laughs> it right? sucks now. <laughs> yeah, we all, we all have seen... We have we had like 
bulgogi and then yeah, we compare yeah, it to yeah, like yeah. mac and cheese come on you know what my experience uh british food british oh. food is it's just so I mean, irish food is not any much better uh, there's like so. two meals i like probably there's what? like the irish breakfast and like maybe bangers and you mash. like an irish bre- breakfast i i got into it's that beans yeah. and toast i kind of got into it when i was rubbery I was, eggs i was 18 i i put on like 30 pounds you know i, I was skinny as hell uh-huh. uh, and during that period i had an irish breakfast like every day on my way to school uh, and i got into it I thought it was pretty cool. Okay, yeah. okay. Was, uh, Bangers and mash is all right. With in, gravy. In, in, a, in a pinch. <laughs> if I'm starving as yeah. the only option and uh-huh. someone's pointing a gun at me, that I'll Damn, eat. Damn, that's really bloody <laughs> terrible. <laughs> yeah. uh, but always, though, like, like Chinese food is just, you can't compare. Like rice just makes me feel better all the time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, I haven't had rice in a while. I've had a lot of noodles. But cool, rice okay. is hard to have when you're traveling by yourself because you usually have uh-huh. it shared, right? With, like, dishes oh, you mean to like share, cooking style. or in restaurants? No, I'm, I, I can't cook right now. I'm, yeah, I'm bit, traveling yeah. in hotels. You uh-huh. know? So in restaurants, you get rice in, a, say, a Chinese restaurant. It's usually yeah. just uh, sharing style. So a few dishes, rice yeah, to uh, share. Yeah. So when I'm traveling by myself, it's a bit uh, harder gotcha. to do. Uh, yeah, unless uh, you have yeah. sushi, mm-hmm. then that's rice too, but it's different. That's cool. you know, Sushi is different. different, yeah. Yeah, it's different. Uh, I'm not as used to It's to cold. Sushi. It's cold. It is. Yeah. I would like, that's, Japan is, is a culture I'm very fascinated by, and I would love to visit. I'd love to let's, get to know that Let's go, man. What's, what's stopping you? Oh, let's go. Nice. Work and stuff. Hell yeah, let's do it. Not not even, not even. I don't have any friends. I'd like to make some You don't friends have any friends? To in Japan. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like, don't have wow. any friends in general. <laughs> that sucks. I just, uh, yeah, <laughs> everything I just do. Alone. No, if I had like, um, uh, like a close friend that could, you know, bring me around and make sure I'm not doing anything inappropriate, you know, and yeah. show me like the, the proper way. Bring a girlfriend them, around, man. Great. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm sure person. she would like to tag and along to yeah. uh, oh, of course she would. Go, yeah. go to Japan. Uh-huh. What does your girlfriend do? Uh, she's an actress as well. She's newer than me. She only graduated from Stella Adler like uh, about nine months ago. Stella Adler. Yeah. Where is that? Uh, Stella is New York as well. And mm-hmm. it is yeah. it is up there. It is kind of legendary. It's got okay. like people like uh, Robert De Niro came from Stella Adler. Okay. Um, so it is up there. And then she's going through the same process. We Is she finding it tough as well? Is she also an Asian actor? No, she's white. white? She's a uh, okay. German, German descent. Slightly easier. Slightly or do you think it's equally as hard? That's it, a good question. There's more roles that's for them, but question. also more yeah. actors in, of that race, right? I think her role has it bad. Her role, the you know, the um, twenty-some-year-old, blonde-haired, blue-eyed white girl, that is competitive as hell. That, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's probably the most competitive. Even when you put it next to like white guys, twenty uh-huh. years old, probably. Yeah, they don't even have as much competition as she does. Wow. Um, so she, she probably has it harder. Yeah, I think so. So she's going through the process now, auditioning and self-taping. Yes, yeah, same thing. Just, just, just waking up, submitting to 20 productions. Side gigs to, to turn uh, her over or is oh, she just no, living, no, off, she, living off your money? She, <laughs> living off the Stephen He money? You know? I would do the same. What's, what's your uh, girlfriend's name? What's, Greta. Greta's Greta. Name. Greta. Just yeah. suck. You know, just <laughs> take his money, Greta. And chase your career. Yeah, you know? it's, uh, I wish I wish I could do that. I wish I had someone. I wish I had a sugar mama. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I do too. I work too much. I work too much. Yeah, that would be hype. I just want to find like a nice milf, you know, um, mid forties and like like chill. And marriage doesn't ask anything of you, you know. Yeah, she's been there. She's jaded. She's like, let me yeah. take you on holiday on my yacht. That's Nigel. a good life, and you can and I can go um go and uh, do my auditions. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even gonna do auditions. I'm just gonna. Just oh, just live that. The ten to her yeah. every need you know <laughs> want me to go down on you I'll go down on you you know that reminds me of that meme that's been going around like uh, uh, a thing on, on TikTok where it's like um, if your wife made seven figures <laughs> and me like scrubbing the floor you know yeah, yeah that's what I would <laughs> yeah. do but I haven't met dishes. the I haven't met that person yet, so I have to work. <laughs> I have to make videos. I have to tour. <laughs> yeah, you're doing like you're doing great. I bet you've, you've oh, thank no you. at all. I I think I think I'm doing okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. think I'm doing uh, good. I think I'm I'm quite happy with how it's going. And now Fantastic. I just need to keep producing the shit that people want to see. And yeah, when people come out to shows, man, there's so much involved. They got to buy uh-huh. tickets. It's like what. $35, $30 a ticket, they buy two, and then they yeah. go to the comedy club, they got to find parking, they got to find a babysitter. Uh, so a lot of friction in between them. Yeah, so y- when the they come, they, you better put on a good show. Yeah. And I tried to do meet and greets after, uh-huh. uh, if the show's a decent, small enough capacity, Yeah. 500 or below, I try to do a meet and greet. If it's anything cool. more than that, I, I can't. I just you get, like, get stuck there till midnight. Mm. So I tried to 
give them as good a time as they can. And I, every show I do, the, the show gets better because the jokes get stronger. I improve yeah. them. I tweak, I tweak, I tweak, I tweak. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, yeah. Do you do any sort of like live work? You're just you're just acting mainly, right? Uh, yeah. Right now, the the stuff I do is YouTube. I think YouTube mm-hmm. is taken as the as the front, and I've actually stopped auditioning. I've stopped auditioning because of mm-hmm. the opportunity. Like, for, here's an example. Yeah. Um, last year. I had already had like a, we blew up at the same time. By the way, we blew up like probably three months. I blew up three months uh, after you. Twenty twenty July was my um, July. Was I yeah, up. I yeah. was I was just after. It was like September. Nice, September, nice. During the same time. Yeah, I remember. The same generation. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, totally. We are the same generation. Yeah. So that's uh, so in twenty twenty one with like quite big notoriety and um, and income as well like of course youtube mm-hmm. generates income uh during 2021 i auditioned for 350 hours estimated total so that includes learning my lines that includes traveling to the audition room that includes sitting in the waiting room doing the actual audition coming yeah. back if it's a if it's a self-tape that includes setting up camera and all that um, an estimated 350 hours today in 2022 because of the other things, the other productions that I'm doing on YouTube or the producing stuff I'm doing with television, film, mm-hmm. um, I can't afford to give 350 hours for free anymore. Yeah. Because that would cost me. That would mean I lose a whole lot of money because of that. Yeah. And so it's a bit of a weird mindset. I have to switch that um, I can't give my time for free. It's worth something. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm at a loss if I do that. Uh, so right now, yeah, mainly YouTube, um, still working on traditional stuff like uh, like the the film that I just wrapped. These are decently sized, like half a million budget, somewhere around there. Okay. Um, and I'm actually doing lead roles now, which that is really cool. Nice. Is uh, it because of your YouTube following that you got these lead roles or because your acting chop? Did, oh. did your YouTube help the acting career at all? Okay, so this is a, this is a, a, a tragedy. This is a real tragedy. Uh-huh. Um, this This... Movie? No, it did not. This movie was because I I had known the DP. We would work together before, uh, and so he um and I just happened to fit the type. He needed exactly my age, my my uh, ethnicity, and my kind of general type. Yeah. And so he, he called me and said, "Do you want to do this film?" Um, but uh, and yeah. I, I want to say something too. You're a good actor. You know, I, I check out Have the you trailer. Seen me? I, yeah, <laughs> bits and pieces. You're actually really really good. So thank just you. Wanna, just wanna oh, say thank yeah, you. So yeah. I appreciate. You're, that. N- I you're really not just. That. You're very good on YouTube, but you're yeah. also like a really good actor. So. I appreciate yeah. that. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's uh, it's when when you have those the, like I, th- this is one scene, this is one yeah. fucking scene in uh, in a movie I did prior to this one, uh. where um, the shot was so simple. I, it was a crying shot. I needed. Okay. I had a thing on my face like a goggle. I took it off and tears were to roll down. Right, and um, uh, it's so simple. Camera's right in front of me. Action. Do that, and the camera pans over and cut. It's like a three second shot okay 20 takes Woo! every time there would be a light in the back the cow the clouds came out uh-huh. an extra walked in too slow you know focus puller mess it up 20 takes i had to drop tears every single for like a whole 40 minutes i was there Oof. just uh, doing that um, but yeah that, that goes back to like i'm i am glad i have the training so that i'm capable because uh-huh. i'd imagine some other actors would not would not be capable to, to execute that. And then there's a big problem, right? Because yeah. every second you waste on set, production's losing and, you know, thousands of dollars. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so uh, that's an example. So I was talking about, yeah, you brought up a very interesting topic of does YouTube help my acting career? Yes. And this answer might shock people. Originally, I I built a following for the purpose of landing better roles because mm-hmm. I thought, you know what, if I just you know say, hey, uh, you want three million extra viewers? I would imagine they do. Cast me as your lead, yeah. um, and uh, so I went. I go, went ahead and built uh, like we're, we're just above ten million followers across all platforms now, mm-hmm. um, and I try to do that in auditions, in things like that. I try to get my my agents at Gersh who are who are also trying really hard to do that, but it's backfired. It's actually the really? opposite. It's it doesn't help. It actually sabotages. Um, Why? So this is what I'm getting yeah. right now. In the let's let's uh, first talk strictly acting world and then talk producing. In acting yeah. world, when I go into an audition or, or when I'm uh, submitted for a part, mm-hmm. we'll try. We'll say, "Hey, I generate 100 million views a month. Uh, I, I would be happy to promote your product or your your television show, whatever it is." Mm-hmm. Um, and generally, the feeling that we get back or the comment that we get back is, "Oh, this guy's an influencer. He can't act." Oh, he just they just lump you into that yeah, category. Yeah, they they just um kind of there's a there's a bit of a 
prejudice. And I and, and I get they have previous experience that went terribly wrong working with influencers. Yeah, but surely they can see your <coughs> your your tape, right? Your what do you call it? The, 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 the self tape. The self tape. The self tape. Uh, or even before that, your reel. Yeah, your reel. Yeah. yeah. But actually, not really. Not really. It's it's become a very very much of a like a red flag to them. They'll see ten million followers and they'll think. This guy's unprofessional. Really? Yeah. Wow. So it's very, very hard. And I, and I think I, that's completely wrong. It is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm not going to say that's yeah. all, all. Some influencers, yeah, they're divas. They're terrible to work with. Yeah, of course that exists. Uh, but there are influencers who are more capable than anyone else you're auditioning. Yeah. Like in the, in the rooms, I'm more trained, more professional. I have more credits than anyone else in there. But just as soon as they hear that, followers, oh, you're unprofessional. Oh. Uh, so that's the acting side, and and we're working hard to fix that. How did you find out about that? Your, your agents reported back saying, "Yeah, they uh, saw my your... agents tell me, my managers tell me." Um, I often do it myself. If I'm submitting the thing, we, in my own words, mm-hmm. I'll put that in the thing, and not once out of gotta be hundreds of submissions have they replied uh. Uh, when I said I have 10 million followers and I generate this amount of viewership. Uh, okay. So it's pretty clear to me. It's pretty clear to me. Um, that there's a stigma there, but here's the here's the uh, here's the other side, which is good. So acting, no, is backfired terribly mm-hmm. wrong. Uh, producing that does help because I've uh, and, and I could be really wrong here. I don't know. I don't know the um, the, the bigger studios and stuff, but um, it's clear to me that casting directors don't care much. This is specifically the people I deal with in LA. I've heard they do, but the. The, the people I've auditioned for and stuff, casting directors do not care how many viewers you bring. Uh, whereas mm-hmm. producers, the money people, the people who's put $10 million into this movie, they care because they want to make that money back. Yeah. Whereas some of the casting directors that I've dealt with, and this is not all of them, I, 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 I'm not generalizing, but mm-hmm. the, the specific people I've dealt with, they are hired to find 10 actors. They find 10 actors, they're gone. Whether yeah. the film makes money or lose money is, is of no relevance to them. So they don't care about that. Uh, and that's kind of wh- where I, I took things into my own hands. And I was, you know, I'll produce the thing. I'll get a pitch deck together. I'll get a production together. I'll put, mm-hmm. I'll put my own money into it, which is really dumb. <laughs> Everyone tells me that's the dumbest thing. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, I, I, think it's, I think it's great. I think if it yeah, works, it's good, right? If it works. You're going to take a risk. You're going to be an entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it works. Uh, yeah. And so that route, that route. If it doesn't work, just don't tell people about it, you know? <laughs> just Nobody take, knows take the fail. loss. Yeah, just take yeah. the loss. Take the loss. I've heard of it. Take it on your girlfriend, you know? Oh, but I... <laughs> In, in a nice way, in a nice Bring her out to way. dinner, get yeah. her some roses, yeah. make her happy. Yeah. Um, Lose your temper and then promise you'll go yeah. to therapy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, too, much, therapy too, too much uh, personal history coming out she from She does here. tell me to go to therapy too. <laughs> really? Yeah, but, yeah but, you, you, we all need it. Yeah, we all, yeah, we all yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that side, I have I have met uh, people who understand and people who, uh-huh. who value it. You know, they, yeah. they see that viewership and they know, and this is all reality, there's no lie here, views are monetized, right? Views get in, get monetized into money. That is the name of the game, right? Attention. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. attention. Attention is worth a lot. Um, so yeah, that's the answer to that question. It's a, a lot of people. If you're if you're thinking the way I thought, hey, I'll build a following and I'll get cast. In my experience, is the opposite. Uh, but then go ahead and produce. You, you'll be able to make um, great things and generate. When you great say income. produce, what do you, exactly do you mean? Oh, uh, th- put down money for a production or writing your own stuff. Yeah. So, um, like, here's some of the things I'm doing. I am um, mm-hmm. building my own pitch decks. I, I have. I have a. <laughs> extremely, extremely powerful producer who's mm-hmm. really generous, and he shared his time with me and helped me um, build a a pitch deck, which mm-hmm. is amazing. It's absolutely amazing, and we're just taking it to Fox, taking it to um, nice, uh, nice. Freeform, yep. uh, and uh, seeing if, they, if they're if they interested. So that's one route to, to try to sell something. And here's the other route. Just do it yourself. Like, grab your phone, mm-hmm. shoot something. Um, if it's good, put it on YouTube. It'll generate 10 million views and, and see if anyone wants to license it. Go to Netflix and say, hey, here's a cool show that I that I built, um, you might have to up the quality a little bit if you go for Netflix. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but then again, like red cameras mm. are $6,000. How crazy yeah. is that? We're talking about Oscar level cameras are $6,000. It's insane. So you can, it, it, the, saying up in quality does it not mean you need a million dollar budget. Literally $6,000 gets you there. Um, and then find some friends, do this thing. Uh, if it's good, you, you'll fail many times, sure. You'll fail hundreds of times. Mm-hmm. Um, but if it's good, 
first of all, it'll generate its own income, income on YouTube. And then secondly, just show it to the streaming platforms and go, hey, I'll license you this for half a million dollars or a million dollars. Do you want it? So that's that's the stuff I'm doing right now. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good luck, man. <laughs> Thank Tell you. us Thank what, you anything much. you can you can share or is it still uh, all, all confidential still? It's quite confidential. Quite confidential. I, so I'm at. I'm um, not gonna steal your idea, Stephen. Don't worry. <laughs> we operate in very different worlds here. Yeah. Okay. We we both make comedy sketches too. That's a that's just a, a very digestible. Yeah, I, I mainly uh, shit on people trying their best. <laughs> <laughs> people trying their best. Yeah. Well, oh, no, I take that back. Jimmy Oliver doesn't try his best. I don't yeah. think he just phones it in. I, I am think. so okay. Okay, I am so curious about this. Uh huh. <laughs> what do you want to know? Have you gotten in any trouble? With like people being unhappy about what you say about, like specifically Jimmy Oliver. Uh, I know he doesn't like me. He's ignored. <laughs> he's been ignoring me. But what can he do to stop me? Like I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm just critiquing someone's recipe. That's I'm not hilarious. defaming him. Yeah, there's, there's you can't sue me like for little. defamation. Yeah, whatever. you can't sue me for defamation. I'm because I'm just reviewing your cooking, man. <laughs> you know, people do that. <laughs> Jay Rayner does that. Jay Rayner is a yeah. uh, big food critic in the UK, so he reviews people's restaurants. Okay, so, yeah. I do what those food critics do, yeah. just at a at a less journalistic level and yeah. more leans towards comedy and roast comedy level. Gotcha. Oh, so but- you can, I can't really get into trouble. And to be honest, I kind of want them to kind of <laughs> do something to me. No, <laughs> that is good PR. Oh my god. That no, no press is bad press. Oh my god. If okay. if one of those chefs take me to, if Jamie Oliver takes me to court, yeah, like I will. I will sell so many tickets. <laughs> That's like if Will Smith That's punched fun. me. That's you know, so that true. is my Will Smith punch. Oh my you god! You know how many tickets Chris so Rock true. is selling yeah. after that punch? I heard. I like gone, gone to like a thousand seven hundred dollars a ticket. Yeah. So yeah. if if Jamie Oliver sued me. My tour is so sold out. I'll add more dates. I, mean, I need to pay for my lawsuit that's, people, so please, really please buy smart. tickets. <laughs> that's really, I don't think about it that way, but you're yeah. right, that is really smart. Have, I have been canceled so many times on internet that I, I don't fear it anymore. You wait, know? like, I, okay, so I don't understand cancel culture really. What, mm-hmm. what like, uh, here's, like my, if you say something that pisses off a group of people, they'll cancel you? What does that mean, really? Uh, it could mean anything well uh, yeah. first of all i think it depends on the crime right of course okay. people like bill cosby people like oh no uh, yeah, Weinstein, yeah those yeah. are you know despicable they're but, actually criminals yeah, yeah, yeah. They're actually criminals yeah but when i say cancel culture i think how it applies to me is more um, as, as a comic sometimes you as in, in podcasts i'm riffing off the top of my head yeah, i'm yeah. just trying to find the the funniest angle on things and sometimes uh-huh. that is taking the contrarian position yeah yeah and uh, yeah, sometimes that that happens. I've been canceled for U- Ukraine jokes. Oh my! God. I've been canceled for some China stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, based on a collab I did with Strictly Dumpling. I think it just. You know? I saw that it was taken down, right? Yeah, I I took yeah. it down. I, I mean, it's just all this whole murky shit, and then so I I did this collab with him, and it turns out he's this very vocal anti-China person. Which is is fine. I don't really care what your views are, but I didn't know that. And yeah. I was already on Chinese social media at the time, right? Uh-huh. So yeah. p- my you're, accounts there. You're is- famous. I've I've had Chinese people tell me. Oh like, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. My I thank big thanks to my Chinese social media team. <laughs> you know, shout out to Lexi. You know, I, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't I don't do much on there. Okay. Uh, but then it became this this huge political thing in China, and then yeah. my accounts started getting reported yeah. for being seen collaborating with this guy who's uh-huh. in a cult you know in china it's called that thing of it as part of a cult he's part of this cult in china i, I don't remember now okay okay and then <clears throat> so at the time i remember i was just i just got off a plane i was in malaysia i flew to malaysia from london right i just got off the plane mm-hmm. i was so jet lagged i was alone in the hotel room because you have to quarantine for seven days Ooh, okay and all yeah. this shit was happening i was like yeah. okay man just let's just let's just take it down and do whatever you can yeah. do to uh, to make it go away this was before my before Lexi, my current social media ag- uh, Chinese okay. agent, who's very very good, but the the other the old Chinese social media company, said, okay, we'll we'll take it down and then we'll just make it we'll smooth it over. Uh-huh. So okay. they they issued they I thought it was just gonna make a post say hey sorry guys I didn't mean to offend you something like that, but yeah. then uh, Twitter <laughs> picked it up and translated it word for word, and I was like oh. Okay, the way you translate it makes it sound uh, pretty bad, you know? <laughs> oh, like a, worse than a win. Yeah, wor- than worse than it was. Like so that. now I'm getting hate from the West. And so it, how, how did that impact what you do? Like YouTube videos, comedy, did that? Now? Yeah. Uh, nothing. Interesting. Okay, it, so you, you have to just endure, like, yeah. at, at, at the peak of it, every three seconds I was getting a hate comment on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, huh, TikTok, okay. everything. 
Uh, hate DMs. My agents inbox. People are telling my agents. Are agent these to people like? Me. Are these are these people defending China? Is that the main point there? No, <laughs> these are mostly and uh, very anti-China people and a lot oh. of bots as well. Because I see the same messages sent to me a lot. Copy and paste Gosh, messages. Yeah, okay. And I just touch on this landmine of a topic essentially. <laughs> yeah. You know, and there there are certain topics out there that the bots will come at you. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially if it, if, it, if it leans political, which I didn't mean to. Yeah. Okay. So there was just this whole, and then I was like, okay, what do I do now? The, no matter what I do, I'll be oh. in trouble. So I'm like, okay, well, time to just wait it out there. Right, the, you are so the, yeah, the more I do, the more the more trouble I'll get it. I'll piss yeah. off one side, no matter what I do. So it's just, <laughs> eh, you know. You're 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 way braver. I am so careful. I I, I it, it matters to me a lot that I'm not I'm not putting anyone down and like uh, saying anything negative about anybody. Uh-huh. So when I do like take the piss, right? When I do um, take the piss out of the Asian dad character. Mm-hmm. I I always make it personal. This is me. I'm uh-huh. not talking about your dad. I'm not talking about your dad. This is all me. So everyone, uh-huh. I'm the butt of the joke. Do not do not think I'm I'm insulting anyone else. Uh, I'm really careful with that. And plus, I have a presence in China, so I have to constantly consider like, you know, that that's a whole different yeah t- set of um, audience who cares about different things. And if mm-hmm. you say if you say certain things, um, that would be completely okay in the West. It would not be okay in China. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So so I- Taiwan not a country. Okay, not a country. I uh, I don't. Um, That's what I try to say, right, Stephen? That's what I try to I say. Just, uh, <laughs> I just I'll tell you a story. I'll tell you a story. Um, so one of the, one of the first big celebrities I worked with, he's a Chinese celebrity in mainland China. Uh-huh. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, I asked him like I asked him like how do you deal with controversy, especially mm-hmm. political? Now he's from he's from the um, old school like A list action stars like kung fu stars i asked him about that and, and jackie he, chan it's jackie chan it's not jackie chan <laughs> it's definitely not jackie chan. i'm not that famous yet um <laughs> so uh, he tells me oh uh, he just plays dumb <laughs> he just he just purposely oh. tries his best to never educate himself on anything political so no matter what he's asked he truthfully doesn't know oh okay and i'm See, like that unfortunately that doesn't work for comics uh, yeah, because right, we, yeah. we have to be in tune with the world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, and that's a big part of the world, right? Yeah, yeah it's a, you, I, I have to know. It uh-huh. would be disingenuous of me to pretend yeah. I don't know. And to, to not know is also, yeah. you become almost irrelevant. You know, in, in this day and age, there's so much shit happening in the world. If yeah. you go on stage and talk, talk about, Pop-Tarts are weird, huh? <laughs> if it's just oh. all that, then it, it's not the kind of comedy. I, yeah. I like, sure, I like the general observational stuff. I think mm-hmm. you need to be the a comic who comes across like you live in the world. Uh-huh, yeah. You who, know? Who's constantly who's involved in... Relatable, in, in yeah. tune with shit that's going on around you. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, sometimes it's, it's very weird when you get like s- some super rich comics. Like, like Ellen, when she does stand-up, I'm like, she's talking about how big her bathroom is and how far, how long it takes for her to, for her to walk from one, bath, one end of a bathroom to yeah. the other end. I'm like, wow. So this there's is... no time sensitivity at all. This could have been told 10 years ago. It would have been the same. Yeah, like, yeah, it's not it's not relatable anymore. It's yeah, like she yeah. doesn't live in this world, uh, the same world we all live in anymore. Uh-huh. You know that I, I it, that's an interesting topic um, because I've actually had a lot of difficulty mm. trying to make videos on any time trending things like mm. um, like any any pop uh, big trend that comes up for like a month and then goes away. I have in the past. I have tried like I'll take big events like the Super Bowl or big trending things. Yeah, I'll make a sketch about it, and that never ever does well for me. It always Tanks. I think it depends on your audience, right? They want to yeah. see more relatable parent stuff. Yeah, they're, so, I think they're used yeah. to seeing that t- that comedy and they come back again and again to see the same thing. And when it's not that, they mm-hmm. might get turned off a little bit. Um, so that's possible. But yeah, it, mm-hmm. because of that experience, I, like maybe I've done like eight, nine videos where it's about a trend. It's about something happening right now this week or whatever yeah and every single time the views have tanked so it's kind of discouraged me to do time sensitive content okay um how do you feel about that do you often make content on that my uncle roger videos tend to not be that time sensitive i might yeah. have a joke or two about like when the capital riot was happening i'll throw in a line okay there. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then when ukraine was happening i throw in a line <laughs> there you know but i think when i'm uh in my stand-up it's a little mm. bit more in my stand-up in my cool. tour show okay. i mentioned rec- recent events yeah. but i'm not a current events comic uh-huh. Most yeah. of my stuff, maybe it's just a couple lines here and there in the show. Okay, you know. Yeah. And then when you make these videos, how do you, how do you see yourself evolving the videos? Or because we have to on YouTube, we have to make the same thing but different. 
You know yes, what I mean? Yes, I do. I so what's your strategy do. for that? There, I actually do have a strategy for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the Asian dad character has been great. And I think I think the final send-off is if I sell this show, the, the, the show I'm pitching. Oh, uh, okay, um, okay. That'll be an amazing blast for for kind of like the end of that era or that mm-hmm. character uh but yeah right now i've i've made 56 sketches on this character nice. so i've joked about a lot of the stuff that can be joked about and mm-hmm. uh, i'm 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 <laughs> almost running to the end there's not much and so lately i've been wanting to explore new topics from gaming to uh, other funny things like anime stuff mm. um uh, going forward i want to open up to more general things like b- being able to joke about anything that the work life culture um entertainment culture i really want to do content like make sketches on in my field acting so like um every time so every everyone does this every time like i, I think of a sketch funny idea something that happens to me i'll write it down on my, yeah. on my notepad uh and notepad the notes app <laughs> you mean the right notes app, the notes yeah, app, notepad yeah. what are you a detective <laughs> Even though I should have, that's really cool. I like that. Yeah. Uh, but like in Arkansas, so many funny things happen. Like, for example, there's mm-hmm. one shot that was so complicated choreography. There uh-huh. were f- six, there were six actors in the shot. Each actor had movement. They had to walk from Mark 1 to Mark 2. Okay. So, um, so of course, the, the second AD is is taping marks on the floor where the actors are standing. And uh, so you got you got your Mark 1 here, Mark 2 here, then you banana around to Mark 3, and you got his Mark 2, Mark 2. So we're like, okay, we got it. Yeah, sure, we go there. Okay, we got it. We got it. <laughs> we walk away, camera rolls, we come in the shot, I look down, there's like 18 marks <laughs> right in an air. What, what, what am I doing? So like moments like that, you know, uh-huh. I want to make a sketch out of it. Um, and for me to, to start mm-hmm. migrating out of Asian dad content, um, I have done it abruptly to make a sketch completely unrelated. And that's usually dip the numbers because the audience expects to see Asian dad. Mm-hmm. So I'm slowly uh, placing him still in things, but putting him in a less important position. So mm. he went from the engine of the scene, the source of the comedy, to a reactionary character. Okay. So he's there to give reactions and doesn't lead the scene anymore. I think you, know? you might need to start a new channel for that, right? For, for if you, if like, like a, a whole pivot to a whole, a whole new channel. Oh, you, you think pivot. so? Yeah, I think that's how people use it, right? Every channel is like a TV sh- a show. I get that. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. why I put my podcast on a different channel. But yeah. don't 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 fully retire Asian Dad, man. <laughs> Come on! I, don't I, don't pitch it to Netflix. Keep doing it on YouTube. Yeah, you know, I, I I I love it. Oh, you do? Okay. For for, for me, uh, for the Uncle Roger stuff, I think only now because I'm on tour, I put out fewer videos. Two a month. Uh-huh. I try to hit two a month. Podcasts okay. every week. Yeah. Do, do you record in bulk easier. or no? I can't. Ah, uh, okay. I, because I just don't have the time. <laughs> I'm <laughs> not that organized. And I yeah. think for me, my creative process, I like being in that that video, thinking about the video for a while. Oh, and okay. not not be like think about this video today. Think about the next video okay. tomorrow. I like being in the video for a while so I can I improvise see. and my my brain subconsciously writing oh, jokes. Oh wait, for it. when you uh, in the video, what we're actually looking at is that your first time seeing the video, or have you already gone through the video and written jokes about each like? Five oh minutes? no, I've written jokes. I have ah. to do the research on a dish. Yeah, I interview like a chef and I I, I spend time with the proper Bro. chef and interview the technique of the video, the technical yeah, side, yeah. and then I have my, my 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 own jokes I write. I have my comedian friends who add some jokes to it because it's oh a lot twelve God. minutes a week. You do it so well that it completely looks genuine. It completely looks oh, like your reaction to you. it for the first thank, time. Oh, thank you. I'm I'm really yeah. impressed by that. I, I'm really yeah. impressed by that. No, yeah. and then I put it all together, and that's why that's why the videos are are are, are funny because they're actually good uh-huh. jokes in there. And I'm it, it, I can't do this by myself. I have all my my team and my people I work Amazing. with. Amazing. Yeah. Very thankful. I think for Uncle Rogers, I, I think I'll probably keep doing it because Western chefs will keep fucking up Asian food. That <laughs> so, will never that will never content, die. Endless content. So I <laughs> that needs to be some sort of like the Batman for Asian oh my food you know God. I need to see I like a, a, a dumpling signal in the sky I love this and oh. <laughs> an orange yes. dumpling in the sky yeah. Uncle Roger comes and makes a video so in the future That's if brilliant. I ever, I won't fully retire the character but I'll just yeah. maybe like move on to other projects but um. when a big video hits like someone a big chef fucking up Asian food yeah. trust me the dumpling you'll, you'll signal be there, will be the vigilante there. there. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it but I'm really You're enjoying, right. enjoying, really enjoying the character. I even do the character live in my tour. You, you'll see. You'll, you'll I can't I wait. To, I cannot wait. Which show yeah. you're coming to? Sunday, Tuesday, tomorrow. I, 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 I do mention the emotional damage guy in my set. So just, oh, just, just, <laughs> just, 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 just cheer, just cheer. I could just, uh, I could just do a, 
Emotional damage. Yes, like, from the audience. Yeah, if you want, if you want, if you want. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't consider that a heckle. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll say. I'll, I'll bring it. Hell do yeah. It, do it. Do it. Do oh it. my god, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, Stephen, he's here, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I can't wait. So, so tomorrow, um, what we're shooting? Mm-hmm. I mean, let let's reveal it. Why not? It's. I'm. I'm so excited. It's. Uh. So I. I ran some numbers. Like I looked at all of our monthly viewerships, uh-huh. and I put them together. And there is a really good chance. There's a really, really good chance that this is the biggest Asian collaboration in YouTube history. <laughs> Listen, I mean that is cool and all. Yeah. But to me, it's just oh, it's fun. Yeah. It's a fun video to make. Uh-huh. I like you. I like the two set violin people. Yeah. I, think yeah. It'll be, I like Sandra. Brittany, so I, yeah. I just wanna. I just wanna. Meet you guys. Hell that's why yeah. I did, Dude, did, that's do, the best. do the video. You know? Yeah, I want to. I want to do collabs more because yeah. doing it by myself is really is really like I, I'd much rather have a group of friends that make videos together all the time. Yeah, yeah. You can um, join a TikTok house. Can, can we TikTok, start an Asian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube house. <laughs> an Asian TikTok house. Yeah, I'd like, be so down. Chopstick be, house. You yeah, know? <laughs> dumpling house. Or, Dump, yeah. Yeah, yeah, or something um, like that. But I, I. I, I don't want to live with you guys though, you know. No. <laughs> I try to not to uh, yeah. live with YouTubers. I I sense they'll be annoying. No, you you're you're cool <laughs> because you're like a proper grown up. Yeah. But do we have like the Jake Paul type? We have you usually oh, have like, rice gum, right? Oh my god, like, yeah. Rice gum. What's he doing? What's I hope yeah. I hope nothing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's up. Sorry, to Rice. Much. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I used to, I I saw him from I used to love KSI and the Sidemen. You guys must you must be familiar with the Sidemen. Yeah, yeah. And I briefly worked with one of them in a video Sick. before. Yeah, yeah. 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 But they, I know of them. Yeah, for yeah. me, they were the the people that got me into YouTube. Like uh, KSI was the first person I subscribed to, and that was way. But he was at like six hundred k. He's wow. at like twenty three million now. Um, back before he did music and before the Simon even came together, uh, and so for me, they are like my idols. They are the people that that showed me YouTube can be a career. I wonder how you yeah. know when you said that YouTube doesn't help with acting. I wonder how that works for music. I bet it does. I bet it does help. Yeah. Because yeah, the milk was, industry is not gonna look at you and go, "You're not professional." That's true. The, that lady with the head bump on TikTok. Oh my god, she, she Bella has an album, Porch. right? Bella Porch. Bella yeah, Porch. she has a whole album now, right? She's a pop star now. Yeah. Yeah, she's huge now. Like, what am I? Maybe, maybe it's got to do with cost. Like, mm-hmm. as a film producer, I know if I'm putting a hundred k into three days of shooting, yeah, I need someone who's really professional. Whereas if I'm putting like five k into three days, I don't mind if they relax. I don't mind if you know. Yeah, but you are both professional, and you have the eyeballs. You know, for me, I do stand up, so it's selling tickets to people. It, uh-huh. YouTube presence is a complete positive. Great. Yeah. Oh, great. I, okay. I love it. I I, yeah. I I I started doing YouTube to sell tickets for my yeah. shows. I'm gonna tell you something. And it's mission just, accomplished. It just you know. Into yes. my mind. Come. I saw you on an episode of uh oh my god what's, what Pornhub. <laughs> This probably some people probably like parody you of Pornhub. Yeah, probably. <laughs> what's the show? The show where oh my god, countdown? No. Oh, uh, eight out of ten cats does count. Mark the week, mark the week. That's I did that. It, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I saw you on mark of the week. That was, okay. that was that was the sickest stuff. Oh, thanks. That I did two really episodes cool. of that. Sick. Yeah, that's amazing. That was so big, big part of a, a part of um culture when I was living in Ireland. Ah. Like BBC, you know, RTE, those yeah, those shows. That was everything. It's a very listeners see. don't know who don't know. You mark the week is a UK panel show based yeah. off of like UK current news, news around the world. Uh huh. And they're, uh, they're brilliant. They're, they're quite funny. Yeah, yeah. very funny it. comedians out there. It's a lot of pressure performing there because you're up with yeah. like really funny people. Uh, but I think I did okay. well. Uh, totally. <laughs> and they, they, they asked me to do a third one, but I, I just couldn't make it work with my schedule. It's a lot of prep. Oh, yeah. No, None of that is off the cuff. Sure, there's some really? like crowd okay. work where you just talk to other people improvising. That is off the cuff, but okay. you you get the topics beforehand. Yeah. Everybody shows up to the, the, the desk with like 12 pages of notes. You know, and I just put it all on the desk. Okay, well, and, I suppose uh, that makes sense. Prepped. Yeah, yeah and then you get the headlines on Monday and Monday evening, Monday night. Uh-huh. You have Tuesday to write it, and then you shoot Wednesday. Dude, that that almost sounds like SNL. Like, yeah, yeah, it's something schedule. like that. But it's a more of a panel show than a sketch show. But uh-huh. uh, it, it's a fun thing to do. It doesn't help you sell that many tickets anymore. People don't watch TV anymore. In the comedy world, the uh-huh. self-created stuff sells more tickets. So be it podcasts, right. YouTube, Gee, TikTok, awesome. you know? Yeah. That sells more tickets than any TV thing. Yeah, that's why. That's why. That's why I love YouTube, man, and my I, podcast I too. I love yeah. it. Too. How do you feel about YouTube? Like, do you see it as something you could a hundred percent like? It could lead your career, or is it a supporting thing? If you would like to, so, so for example, um, I really want to do film stuff, but honestly, if I can incorporate that teamwork kind of aspect into YouTube, mm-hmm. I would be a hundred percent satisfied just being a YouTuber. 
sometimes the film stuff if I think oh, I always feel like if YouTube gets too high budget and it loses uh, that creator like, audience connection yeah the intimacy yeah, yeah yeah then I feel like why don't you just make this for Netflix it's the wrong platform yeah 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 you know when people uh, make short films like proper films on YouTube like um, I don't want to watch it yeah, you know I'm yeah, not here for like I'd rather, I'd rather like, watch MKBHD uh-huh. talking to me Marquez reviewing yes. the latest iPhone that watch a well-produced film on YouTube. I don't yeah. know. There's just something about the vibe of YouTube, right? Yeah, the vibe of like, this is not a commitment for two hours. I'm just here to like, enjoy, enjoy yeah. something. I'm on the bus, minutes. you know, yeah, to yeah. watch something and it's, uh, I feel yeah. like this creator is speaking to me. Oh, that's a really good point. Yeah. I think, because I'm a comic, right? I, um, for, for us, the, the connection with the audience is very, very important because okay. it's the audience yeah. who buy tickets to your show. It's so yeah. direct. Yeah. Right. For for you in acting, you have producers, you have casting right. agents. Right. It goes have, through so many yeah, people. So many before, layers. Yeah. yeah. To, before you even get to the end audience. Right. And I never even get to interact with them. Like, yeah. Never. An actor never gets to interact with the audience that sees the film. So. Yeah. yeah that's true. But you, they're right in front of exactly. you. Exactly. So for me, I will always be doing some form of social uh-huh. media. Yeah. Be it YouTube, Instagram, whatever. Things will change, uh-huh. and I'll adapt with the changes. But oh, okay. I always have some sort of direct connection with my audience. Yeah. You know, even if I land a, a big role, I'll still try gotcha. to find a day out of the week where I can record. You know, Bill Burr is uh-huh. such a inspiration, one of the best comics out there. You, you know Bill Burr, Of course, right? he's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, he's I great. Yeah. I mean, he still does two podcast episodes a week and he's yeah, in movies, he's in TV thing, right? shows, he's touring. Man, so man, like great. that thing, if Bill Burr is doing it, like you you know it works. If someone at, yeah. at that level, one of the most famous comics in the world yeah. does it, you know you have to do it. What excuse Dude, do you have to you're, do you're it? You're downplaying yourself. You are one of the most famous comics in uh, the world. Uh, I, I don't know, like, man. The numbers speak for themselves. I don't know. I would, people know me as a YouTube character. Yeah. Well, so actually, the, yeah. Ne- saying, the okay. next step. <laughs> The next step, uh, that's why people come to the show. Um, it, it's it's nice because I'm actually, I've been doing stand-up since 2011. Yeah, so t- yeah. sometimes people, people don't expect me to be good at stand-up yeah. because they're like, oh, <laughs> it's a YouTuber doing stand-up. Uh, imagine yeah. Jake Paul that's stage, the that's you know? the exact Yeah, that's the exact same stigma that I'm getting. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I totally get no, it. No, my, my it, fans won't have that stigma. I mean, my, my oh. fans, they come. They are happy yeah. to see Uncle Roger. But then I come out and then... <laughs> And then I'm funnier than Uncle Roger. <laughs> and the thing yeah. is, they, they don't leave, thankfully. They, they stick yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. For <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. great. So you're converting. Yeah, yeah. That, that's an awesome way to go about it. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, can, you, can you reveal like um, what productions or projects you're working on? I'm working on something with uh, Studio Ramsey. Uh, Gordon Ramsay's production oh, team. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay, for television? Yeah, no, it's not commissioned yet. It's just uh-huh. the development process. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I think that... Uh, I can announce because it's been announced elsewhere before. Great. Okay. Uh, what else? I just had that sketch show with Comedy Central yeah. that came out, and a couple of things that's, here that's and there. That's some big stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad to hear. Well, that. you never yeah. know with these industry things. There's so many steps before you get to actually make it. Mm-hmm. Who knows yeah. if it's ever gonna get made? Right. Right. right? It's like, like like all the people are ready, and it's just one thing that doesn't come together. Yeah. Um, it's like step one out of five thousand. Yeah. And then it doesn't happen, and nothing happens. Yeah. But in the meantime, yeah. I got my tour, my tour, my YouTube, my podcast is keeping me yeah. busy enough. Yeah, yeah. And so what, I, I what's, love it. I'm curious. Um, what's the, what's a tour like? Because I'm just Sunday is the first like expensive shoot I'm producing. It's a, it's 10k for one day. I'm only just learning how absolutely complicated these things are like paperwork insurance um renting equipment mm-hmm. and all that um i wonder what uh, how how much workload is it outside of performing on stand-up like you probably have to do a million other things than actually stand up yeah fortunately i work with yeah. live nation who have a good team behind it oh so yeah okay they, they run the facebook ads they put yeah. it on sale they talk to the theaters i don't yeah. do any of that they choose a ticket price so they cool. do the artwork everything yeah. For me, I just have to, you know, I don't have a tour manager just yet. So I okay. get to the venue, I have to sound check. <laughs> you know, yeah. do, do like check, mic sounds good, the lights yeah. look good. Uh, okay, make sure the opener is there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, what, what else do I do? The, the, some of the press, some um, interviews okay, cool. for, for places. Yeah. Like I'm doing an interview with NPR on, on, on tomorrow, Monday. I'm doing some gotcha. interviews okay. with NPR. Yeah. Uh, but it's selling really well in New York. You know, I'm I'm glad people are coming out. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, yeah, the, yeah. You but, uh, it's it's a, it's a lot of work, man. People see people come to see a tour show for uh, the show last two hours with in- intermission. Yeah. But there's so much leg work behind it, and I'm glad I have a whole team of people just That's doing so cool. this stuff for me. Yeah, I really like it. Uh, wh- there's something I love about creators and creative people, um, especially like on the performance side, uh-huh. performers. Um, like I have so much respect for for performers who 
have built everything with their own hands. You know what I mean? Like like before I started YouTube, I was just an actor. My job was just to go on set. Yeah. Everything will be there. The, the producer oh. will have done everything. The, <laughs> That's a luxury. Yeah, yeah. The cameras yeah. will have done everything. Um, I wish. Like when you showed up today, I was setting up the tripod. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's what you I know? mean. When, when I saw that, I was like, man, I have so much respect for that. Yeah, just, he's, he's a real deal. And you bring your fucking manager to set up your shit for you. <laughs> no, I didn't. You know? <laughs> <laughs> fucking big shot over here bring no. his oh this my agent my manager from viral nation no, he's gonna set no, up the no, camera no. i'm no, too no, good no. for this now this, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no he just uh, i just wanted them but i i expected you to have a team as well with you here i can't afford to fly them out i'm based in london uh-huh. yeah uh-huh. so i think I, you live yeah. here it might, might be a bit easier yeah. less travel for michael your your uh, manager right uh-huh. yeah. but in london if i fly um, someone out the visa alone that's ten thousand dollars twelve thousand dollars to for get a someone a visa? visa yeah yeah to what? get an artist artist visa performance visa that's ridiculous which for me yeah. is fine because i'll make it back doing the show is it the one or is it oh one oh one i'm yeah. on the one as well yeah yeah but then just marry your your girlfriend then is she is she american she is american yeah, yeah. why are you not married yet yeah <laughs> i can't I greta can't. Hey. Stephen has something to say to you, and he would like to use this opportunity on this podcast. Not here, immigration will hear us. <laughs> 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 yeah, no. don't worry, immigration. I'm going through the proper steps. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope you figure it out. You know. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, I hope we'll you do. and Greta have your marriage of convenience. Uh. <laughs> you <know? laughs> Greta, do you want to be successful, yeah. Greta? <laughs> I love this. That, that's hilarious. Yeah. On that note, uh, where can people find you, Stephen? Uh, on the YouTube channel. That's where I'm the most active. Stephen mm. He. Uh, gradually, in the next year or two, uh, you'll also see me in traditional on uh, films on television, films on. Um, I, I, I would like to get into streaming platforms, things like that. Yeah. Nobody watches those anymore, though. Yeah. You, you know that, right? People. Actually, what movie have you watched? Uh, apart from Marvel ma- superhero ones, I yeah, haven't watched on anything. On streaming, like very like yeah. uh, Squid Game, loved it. Uh, yeah it's okay. beautiful fantastic um they're actually it, it shocked uh-huh. me so channel i won't tell which specific one but channels like hallmark lifetime right uh, when i saw how many people they reach i was kind of blown away they are hype really even though you don't think so because we yeah. don't watch it oh, but okay, there's okay. like a whole community of i would imagine tens of millions of like um they, they're huge in the female community like moms grandmas ah. uh, young girls they love that kind of channel so uh yeah that movie that where i play the uh, romantic lead um that will be seen by a lot of people so, so you're gonna be in the hallmark movie uh, <laughs> one of them i'll be on one yeah, of them. yeah i don't know well, that's good for your career yeah you know, <laughs> being in a hallmark movie <laughs> it's cool that's the beginning no yeah. no congratulations yeah, i'm very you, happy for you. you yeah yeah it's just um so just the can, beginning. is it out already not yet right not yet we just we just wrapped um, we just wrapped what, like two weeks ago uh, okay. uh, and they work so fast they'll get it edited in like three four months I- extraordinary and wow. it's right off um, the, onto distribution right onto TV the, to their, to their um, network cable that they have the channel that they have yeah um, yeah, it's quite extraordinary. Yeah, so that, that's where you'll see the majority of me am I doing anything else um, yeah what else, <laughs> what else you want to plug this is a chance this is a chance. Just watch uh, his videos, everybody. Yes, yeah, just, um, just uh, well, I'd, I'd, rather than asking for anything, I'd much right. rather thank you guys because you're, you're, you're the most amazing audience. Oh, uh, here we go again, the PR speech. The keep, the PR uh, keep saying emotional damage everywhere. <laughs> I get a lot out of that. Thank you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you can find me on all the regular socials. Yeah. My listeners already know. Tw- tickets on tour on sale right now, mm-hmm. uh, nigelandcomedy.com. Great having you, Stephen. Thank Thanks you so for, much. It was, it was such honor. a joy. Oh, Such a you're joy. wonderful, man. Yeah, wonderful. thank you. Let's get food after this. Yes, yeah. Yes. I can't wait for the shoot. It's going to be huge. <laughs>